We just concluded five days of um, what I consider to be a significant period in the development of the maritime environment within the OECS. Uh, we were uh, trained or facilitated by a consulting group out of Singapore by Mr. Mark. Um, the reason that Singapore was chosen to facilitate this area of development is because globally they are recognized as the brand to be. They are the number one in port management, port development and port logistics uh, and there are other areas as well. They, are, they have built a very significant industry that has propelled their country from uh, I would say below third world to a first world nation in a very short period of time. That is very, very incredible and something that we can actually look at and hopefully if we can't mirror all of it, take some lessons from. Uh, the facilitation focused on port management, uh, port development, it looked at risk management, it looked at the nautical or maritime environment, the management of that area. It looked at human resource development, there uh, was the issue of pricing, port marketing, various areas that are critical for building a new platform so OECS ports can move forward. One of the things that we took the opportunity to do as well is as regional ports with similar uh, experiences uh, functioning with the same mandate which is the development of port facilities to facilitate trade into our region and to impact the lives of our citizens. We also took the time as port managers to share our some of our experiences, the challenges, and we look at commonalities among us. Areas that we where we may do the same things uh, with different outcomes. We looked at some areas where we have had successes and failures and we shared among ourselves so there was that moment I believe throughout these five days and sometimes it was during the course sometimes it was in the evenings when we sat for dinner there was a lot going on that I believe have sharpened the edges of every port manager that spent the last five days here and hopefully if he resides in St. Lucia he is more empowered with better information if he's going home certainly I am going over to Antigua better prepared with more relevant information that we can use to enhance the operation at the Port Authority in Antigua and also build the capacity for our staff there as well. Looking forward to ensuring that the environment that we're trying to construct continues to emerge and improve. We also are hoping that as Singapore was able to form a strategy with the port that then piggyback towards the broader development of its economy that we too at our ports can aid in the development of our societies by being more efficient, more productive and building the capacity of our people so that in the end the port can be that pillar that provides some level of social transformation and, ec and economic enhancement that will lead to the betterment of our people.